Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to start a new series of Hearts of Iron 4 with starting, oops, not loading, oops, not loading, uh, back to menu. We're going to play as Italy, good old Italy, and starting in January 1st, 1936. Good old Benito. Alright, so we're going to play with historical focuses on... As you can tell, difficulty regular. No one's going to be strengthened. Pretty much your generic Italy. Let's begin. So... Alright, just going to wait for it to load. Almost there. There we go. Okay, so we got a lot of cleaning up to do. What I like to do when I first start playing as Italy is to put, make three separate fleets. Two fleets that will be like engaging enemies and stuff, and then a third, the third fleet, which will go here, is just made of all subs. Uh, you guys go up here, subs stay. You guys, over here. This way I have two fleets always engaging in the Mediterranean and eventually, hopefully, in the English Channel. So this way I always have enough uh, ships killing each other and defending myself. So, subs go there, destroyers I think, oh, subs go there, you guys go here, you guys go here, subs go down here. So in this let's play. We are going to invade Yugoslavia early, but that's not the only place we're going to invade early. Oh crap, I need to get all these guys together. I'll focus on this a little bit later. Let's get the that one finished first, and that one, that one, that one, and then that one. Alright. Uh, hopefully it will take out Yugoslavia first, as well as Greece, so we can take their factories and resources without them being in a faction. With that in mind, we're going to need a lot of political power to do that. Let's take a quick look. How long would it take to just get one province? 45. 47. 47. For Yugoslavia. 47. 47. 47 for each. So I'm going to need 94 political power. With that in mind, let's just group up all these soldiers, put them under one guy. So we're not completely incompetent. Uh, that's not really worth it. He can lose those traits. Honestly, level one, you might as well just do that. Uh, let's put him under number two. Your goal will be against the Yugoslavians. Right there is about. Uh, let's go right there. That's there. We don't want that. Uh, let me redo this. We want to get Belgrade. That's good enough. Okay. So, we want all of this. We will eventually annex Albania, which is fine. Uh, what I like to do with my air units, though... Let's see. Select them all. I like to give them generally about a hundred planes in a wing. Okay. 100, 100. This way they have more than enough in each wing to do their role properly, and they can probably take out whoever. Uh, let's see. Even though I have tactical bombers, I'm probably not going to really use them. Yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of all the tactical bombers. Because I just won't have the capacity to use them. Which ones are tactical bombers? Tactical bombers. Tactical bombers. These two... Naval bombers, naval bombers, tactical bombers. I mean, I'll use them in the beginning wars. Here. Alright, uh, but that was one as well. Come down to Ethiopia, help them all out. You guys. All you guys can just go ahead and attack Ethiopia. I'm kind of scrambled. Uh, it seems like my actions are a little scrambled at the moment just because... Oh, it shows a bad thing. Anyways, just a little scramble, just because uh, I'm trying to set everything up properly. We are not going to wait for the focus of claiming Yugoslavia or Greece. 
So let's move him over here. Move him over here. Uh, you guys, let's put him under him. Your front line will be here, and you won't really need a, any sort of order to do anything. Okay, who else is unassigned? Ah, these guys. Uh, you shall be put with... Hmm. You shall be put here. New guy. Uh, sure, why not? I'll be there, and to help take out this portion, which will reinforce with the Ethiopian army later. We're not going to go with a focus because we have to have that political power immediately. Military factories. Well, what do we have a deficit on? Well, what we do need to produce are... Let's see, we got close air support being made. We need fighters and naval bombers. Those will be crucial. We shall put the battleships up to the top. Uh, let's see, actually, this goes to the top, 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 and top. So we've got close air support, interwar fighters, naval bombers. We will not be producing tactical bombers or interwar bombers because we can't afford it. We've got tanks. That. Do we have support equipment? So one, two, three. We need artillery. Artillery is very, very important in this game. So you put one there, three there. I should put four. Those are very, very important. Uh, there. So we're out of factories now, but we're going to put an extra two in infantry equipment. So, research all the normal stuff. Go with a lot of engineering and industry, construction, this stuff, and we'll go for light tanks. Free civilian factories. Well, we should be probably producing Tuscany, as well as some military factories. That looks good. We're in the middle of a war. No divisions and basic training. We want to set this to max. Upgrades to low. And if you can tell, this is a very cheap tank unit, but I need more tanks. Put it there, and we'll put them in Venice. And we're going to edit a bunch of these later. So that's okay. I think we're ready to begin. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So we got to attack Ethiopia. Go ahead, be reckless. We want to kill them as fast as possible. And start justifying wars against Yugoslavia and Greece. What are we missing? Oh yeah, tactical bombers, whatever. I don't care. Looking good. These guys are kind of dug in, that's okay. Other than that, we're going to wait for our ships to get to each place. All destroyers, all destroyers. Lots and lots of subs. And then I'll place uh, where the battleships and other ships will be made and transported to. Alright, that should be good. A few more, yep, a few more. Alright, yeah, we're gonna make it go really slow. Getting two political power per day, which is what we really, really need, really, really want. Right, uh, first squadra Nevale. This guy seems pretty good. First squadra Nevale has one. Second squadra Nevale. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. That's okay. <clears throat> Do I have a sea wolf? First contact. First contact. Let's go with this guy. He could use a lot of uh, help. So, 1st Squadron and 2nd Squadron, Navale. This one will go to 1st Squadron. This one will go to 2nd Squadron. This one will go to... Let's see, this one was 2nd. That's 1st. So, so, let's produce the light cruiser to go to the 2nd Squadron. I have a short memory sometimes. 2nd Squadron. This can go to... The second squadron for now, and you shall go to the, uh, crap. Which one is this one? Three Grupo. Other than that, that looks pretty good. Uh, we're not producing any motorized because we're out of oil and rubber. 
Boy, we need a lot of oil. Let's look at our construction real quick. Uh, I suppose we can afford, uh, let's see, two, two, two oil. Let's give it to Venezuela, because we don't want to give them to anybody that we may end up fighting. Shortly, relatively shortly, all right. So that should help out here with the battleship, one and a half years, wow. Hmm, to reduce my oil dependency, I might want to go with the destroyer first, actually. Let's go with that. And then we'll go with the light cruisers, because they're pretty quick eat too, as well as the sub. That'll look good. Yeah, and then we'll focus on the battleships. Alright? See how the battle's going. Alright, not too bad. Not great, not too bad. Ethiopia likes to attack us down here. One for one. We can do pretty well. Go ahead, just help them out. Uh, closer support. Do you have a... Oh, they have no mission assigned? Like, just bomb the crap out of them? Please? No, lacking range, man, whatever. Uh, actually, you guys can go over here for, if you need more space. It's fine with me. Go ahead and bomb them. Oops, and now we're losing that battle. Right. Alright, now we're winning that battle. Alright. Doesn't really matter as much. Getting a lot more experience. Uh, yeah, I gotta edit these divisions once we're all done here. Let's speed it up. Waiting for... Ah! Now you can just do some ground support. Which should really help everyone out. If you're constantly getting bombed, I mean... You gotta be doing pretty well, right? This guy's doing pretty well. Uh bad. We can help out here. Speed it up. Speed it up. Eight, ooh, 86. Uh, political power. Very nice. 90, 92, 94. Alright, we have 96. Hope I'm doing this right. Justify war goal. We just need one. So get these as fast as possible. Uh, we need 21 more. That's okay. We can wait a little bit. Because we'll declare war on the same time. Just take another look. Uh, how much do we need? 17 more. Wow, 350 days? Wow, crud. Well, actually, how long is that going to take? 235. Well, let's take a look at it, how long that's going to last. Maybe the roll tension won't be too high when we get there. Because it takes a long time to get there. Alright, not too bad. How much do I need in total? 70. Alright, there we go. 70. Get it as fast as possible. That looks good. And let's go for... Uh, I guess war logistics, maybe? Because we want to get to that extra research slot. But we also want carriers. Army primacy... Uh, military factories are nice. Let's go with military factories. Alright. So it's going to take a while to get to, uh, clearing war on Greece. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Because I would really like to take them out. Both Yugoslavia and Greece. I should have probably waited to do both, uh, countries at the same time, but that's okay. What, what, what? Negative four. Okay, whatever. Right, we're doing well here. We're now losing the battle, kind of. Alright. Now we're just gonna hang out. We don't want to lose too much of our stockpile. Oh, we need a lot of infantry equipment. Ooh, baby. Uh, we need a lot of everything. Artillery can kind of go down. We just need more. Uh, that. Oh, we already have 18% world tension. Oh, gosh. 
Yeah. As long as I get Yugoslavia, that's a big thing. Oh, I have, uh, I forgot some ships here. Go there, and you can go up here. That's fine. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Nice. Nice and calm as good old Italy. Except you're in Ethiopia, but that doesn't count. Not too bad. Oh, there we go. How much world tension is that going to be? Uh, doesn't say. No one cares. The world tension went down, actually. Very good. All right. So, like I said earlier, you guys will go under here. But let's replace the commander. He's got just slightly more experience, and you will be added to this army. Uh, oh crap. Well, don't worry about it. I'll just make a new front line. Select all. Right there. Which actually might not be good because... Eh, it's got average infrastructure. And these guys know how to move. And there's no resistance here, which is really nice. Alright. Uh, you can hold. Everyone can come back to... There's not that many planes. Let's go here. The tactical bombers can kind of basically just kind of be used until they're destroyed, which is fine. Kind of wish I could group them all together. Well, I can. But we won't for now, that's fine. It looks like we did, uh, maybe, we got a few more factories, that's right. 17% uh, to world tension. I'm going to try to stretch out my declar declaration of war against Yugoslavia for as long as I can. Until, like... February of next year, so then I can be at war with both groups, so. That is my plan, because once uh, we get to 25% world tension, then uh, then the UK and France starts guaranteeing countries, and we just can't have them guarantee Greece, which is a big no-no. Big no-no for us. Ah. Well, I'm certainly making enough artillery at the moment. Oh, there goes electronic mechanical engineering. Let's go with research time. We'll eventually get down to radar, but not for now. Army primacy. And then... Probably Ethiopian war logistics so we can get to that extra research slot. Ooh, 53 factories. I think something was just made. Yep, another civilian factory. Right. Yeah, I guess we, this would be a good time to let things go while we edit this division. Uh, that costs a lot. Let's go back. Let's add a light tank. And another light tank. And another light tank. While we replace these with motorized. Now, I don't have enough. I don't have enough yet. So I'm down on a lot of motorized stuff, and I need more light tanks. Okay. We can I'll probably just delegate to this. Continue making some more of that. So we finished uh, some of the, all the other smaller stuff. Like the submarines, destroyers, and light cruisers, which is great. Alright, so we should have only three fleets. Three fleets. Pretty good. Oh, there goes Army Primacy. And uh, Triumph in Africa, we don't need that bonus. Uh, let's go here, here. Support. Uh, let's go with Ethiopian War, Ethiopian War Logistics. Oh, and we have an extra fact, two factories. Uh, well, we need more light tanks, and motorized are big deal. Even though we do need more infantry equipment, those will be made fast enough. And eventually we'll replace those as well, so not too concerned about it at the moment. Speed it up. Still need a lot of oil, especially for these... Uh, Battleships. <laughs> 14 years, wow. Alright, 
Alright, so when is this war justification finished? Okay, on October 17th or so, and this one is February 20th. Oh, and we got some basic machine tools. Very nice. We're immediately going to go to factor concentrated industry. That's better, generally better than disperse, unless you're switching disperse a lot of the time. Oh, well, this guy needs an offensive plan. We'll just do it like the other one. Looks good. And we can kind of speed it back up. Focus, Ethiopian War, Ethiopian War Logistics. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Researching some more light tanks to get through that production so we can start producing better light tanks. Researching the next level of tech is generally an extremely good idea. Let's get to the first year. Uh, world tension is only a 16%, but it's going to rise soon because of the civil war that will spawn in Spain. So that's always a hassle to deal with. I can send volunteers, but I don't want the nationalists to get uh, too far ahead in their war. I can eventually send them stuff, but not yet. Ooh, civilian factories would be very nice. Construction. Almost have another civilian factory, and there we go. In oh, less than eight months, we will have a new battleship. Nice, and construction was finished. Let's pause it. Uh, now this is where I'm not really sure what to do. I want to get more subs, because those are pretty good. Making this class would be really good as well. But I guess for now... Well, we don't need the reinforcement rate or radar. We only need it when we're actually in war with the allies. We can get resource efficiency gain. I think it would probably be good to get the destroyers. So we can just start producing them now over time. Uh, infantry equipment. Is there anything particularly for equipment? Uh, field hospital would be a really good addition for our units. Land Doctrine would be good. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Ram Battle Plan. And we're going to go for Superior Firepower. All Frontline Battalions get more Soft Attack. Uh, you know what? I think we're okay with this Grand Battle Plan for now. Just when we actually get into the war. Let's research something else, maybe. Nah, let's go with Grant Battle Plan. Superior Firepower for now. Yeah, that's fine. We won't be in a war for a while. We'll have enough time to research it, hopefully. And let's produce some better light tanks. I believe I can change this last cavalry to motorized. 20 width is good. 20 width, 6. Well, actually, we don't need 6. We need... Oh, crap. I screwed it up. That's okay. Four, four light tanks? It's better to have six light tanks and four motorized, but that's okay. That's okay for now. We'll just go with that. I mean, that still does pretty good, pretty well. We can always change it later anyways. We'll have a lot of army experience before the game's over. Let's see, yeah. My focus will finish first. So we can just kind of speed it up and watch our stockpile increase. We need a lot of light tanks, a lot of motorized, and we're getting through our infantry equipment. Oop, you focus. Uh, let's see, let's go with the war economy, because then that means we get more civilian economies to use. Very nice. The next one I might do is maybe staff member. Oh, the next one is uh, backroom backstabbers, so we get 5% more political power per day. Games are concluded. 16% world tension. We can speed it up. Hmm. Okay. 57 factories ain't bad. Not too bad. I just need to produce a lot of units. Which, obviously, I'm not doing at the moment, but that's okay. Okay. Let's get through September. Industrial efforts almost finished. Nice. Industrial efforts. 
Uh, we want more military factories, please. And then we'll go for the ex extra research slot, which is crucial when playing as Italy. Nice. And we finished building that extra civilian factory, so we should probably go for... Dockyards are pretty important. Civilian factories are pretty important, though. How many uh, civilian factories do I have? Hmm. Oh, yeah. 23, it looks like. Uh, how about we just build another set, then? Uh, how about... Three's fine. Three's a good number. And then we'll produce a lot more military factories, because we need a lot of military factories to have good war production. Right, so this one should be wrapping up soon, and the war justification lasts about two months, so then we'll declare war. Luckily, the Spanish Civil War hasn't fired yet, and we're 15% uh, world tension. Okay. Justify war goal times. There goes the one for, for uh, Yugoslavia, which will take us... Expires in December? Nice. Which is good, good, good for us. So we're going to wait all the way up until December, like, 15th. And... Civil War in Spain. So which raised the... Ooh, 19%. That's pretty close. Pretty close to 25. Uh, let's just take a look. After we get the military factory finished. About... Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of this stuff. Hope these battleships finish soonish. In the meantime, naval bombers. These are all get replaced anyways, except for motorized and light tanks. Put them under here. All right. So what I'm thinking is, if it's a, okay, 18%. That's not bad. If I declare war now, it'll generate 4% war tension, or 4% world tension. Which will get us a 22%. But you got to realize that the Japanese will declare war on the Chinese for the second Sino-Japanese War. So, you got to keep an eye on that time. So on December 15th, we'll declare war. Still November. November. Ooh, industrial effort. Nice. Uh, extra research slot, of course. And we shall put our extra stuff. Having a stockpile of weapons is crucial. Uh, we really need a lot more oil. I might trade for one more oil thing. I mean, you can't go wrong with support equipment and motorized, because those never go out of, uh, out of date. So, uh, let's see... We're good to go light tanks. Really good to go light tanks. I mean, since we researched that light tank, um, nah. Naval bombers. We don't need them immediately. These guys will just be useless in a couple, you know, weeks to months. Motorized are pretty good. And I'll oh, just some more supply equipment because we're gonna build a lot more. Uh, port companies, and we're going to need a lot of extra supplies. Alright. So, we just have a deficit of motorized and light tanks. Airplanes don't matter as much, and let's speed it back up. Keep an eye on the research. December 15th, we shall declare war. Oop, there goes superior firepower. Very nice. Of course, we want to get to the next one. And then... Hopefully, world tension will go down. See, chains by half a percent every month. Let's get the next one mechanical computing and concentrated industry. It's still 1936 only. Engineering, industry. Uh, I don't need to go with synthetic oil just yet. Since we'll go to war soon, let's get some better artillery. And, like I said earlier, we need some more support companies. Let's go with field hospitals, because those are actually really crucial when trying to conserve manpower, because Italy does not have a ton of manpower. Alright, so I'm going to stop it really soon, and... Alright, let's just declare war now. 
totally fine. It'll raise world tension by 4%. It's 22%, okay. Well, as soon as I declare war on Greece, then it'll shoot up to 25, but as long as I annex them and declare war, as long as I declare war before Greece can do anything, that'll be great. So, hey guys, I hope you, uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you like, subscribe, comment, favorite, share, you know, all the good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode.